Hello you bunch of tankers and welcome back to the channel. Today we have some more PS4 footage for you as always and we're out in the E75, the Tier 9 German Heavy. It's an absolute beast. I mean it's a, it's a beautiful tank to play, it's almost like hacking it. it if you can get your angles right it's, it, it's rather easy to play. And with the 128 centimeter gun with an average alpha of 480 hit point damage. It's quite, it's quite satisfying. So we're out on South Coast and we are in an encounter game mode. Now, what we're going to talk about today is PTFO. And what's PTFOing? It's playing the flipping objective. That's right, that's right, boys and girls. As a Battlefield player, my sole purpose is to play the flipping objective. Um, we, we're all guilty of this on encounter games of going to the opposite side of the map, but there's a bit of a drama there. Now, despite the E75 having a wonderful buff to 40 kilometers an hour and feeling more like a medium these days, if you're on the other side of the map, you're probably not going to get there. They've already got two people on there. That's 1 minute 35 to go. There's more people incoming onto the cat point. They've now got three on there. That's a minute. The round has just started. Most tanks haven't even got themselves into a position, and they are on the cap. Them fast tanks are already on there. So, I've sort of seen myself. I'm at the front of the line. I have got to get in there and reset the cap. And I'll be honest at this point, I'm not really that bothered how much damage I take. I just need to reset it. 40 seconds. I hope the Pershing's coming down the beach. A little bit concerned they were going to get shots into the side of rear of me, but they seem more content with just getting down that beach and getting on our flank. Now we push out here. I'm at, I am at a silly angle. The 75 has wonderful arm, but I am at a silly angle. The tracks do absorb a hell of a lot of damage, as you will see here. I mean, we are slightly angled, purely by accident, but we are slightly angled, and we are bouncing, and the tracks are taking most of the damage. Get a nice roll into the IS-3. Remember, if you've got three people on the cap, and only three people can cap, if there are six tanks on there, only three will actually capture the game capture points. So you've got to try and work out who was there first, who's got the most capture points. Now, the Goranich is very slow, so he hasn't got that first. I'd say it was the T-54 lightweight. So we, we've hit him hard, and we, as you can see, we're switching targets to try and reset them capture points. We managed to get the tracks repaired and we get ourselves into a nice side scraping position. E75 is an absolute monster at side scraping. The only thing you've got to be careful of, and I'm terrible for this, is angling your turret slightly just to make sure that the front cheeks of the turret are not completely flat onto the enemy because heat rounds will go through the very edges on the very cheeks. They will go through. So we smash her into the Goronich. She's only got 41 hit points left and we turn our attention to something else. Yeah, that IS-3 is track, so we're going to try and uh, get a nice roll into him, drop him down. Remember, 480 alpha in 28 centimeters. Someone else gets a shot in, we roll nice at 235. It, it was going to kill him. And as you can see, it's calmed down slightly now. You know, we've got a minute, there's only two of them on there, we've got people on the cap as well. So, it's just a matter of farming enemies now, getting rid of them. But remember guys, just... Be aware of the game mode. I'm terrible for this. I start a game, I start pushing out, then I realise I'm defending on assault and I turn around. Little things like that can make a big difference. Just look at the game mode, look at the map, look where you're spawning, and just think, what can I do? Oh, this is a nice bit. So, he irritates me. We're on a reload. And there we go. We squeeze him against that building, and we take all of his hit points away from him that he had. So there's four enemies left. We've gone from what was going to be a very, very, very fast loss, you know, just just over a minute into the game, to going on for a win here. Now I auto-aim at the Hollenhound. I'm terrible for auto-aiming, as many of you will know that's seen the stream and seen my videos before. I am cutting back on it. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like smoking. It's a hard habit to kick. But I'm trying, I'm trying. Now, we're not going to farm any more damage here in this game, but I just wanted to pull... It's only a fast video, but I just wanted to put out there just a little, you know, a little reminder here and there. I'm not saying you have to just run down there and cap within the first minute of the game. No, no, no. But you've got to make sure that it is protected. If you're on the other side of the map, you're going to have a hard time flanking round to reset caps. So just bear that in mind. Where's everyone going? Where should I go? I'm a top-tier heavy, so... For me personally, I feel 
my job as a top tier heavy is to get into that fight as soon as possible and be at the front. Be the man taking the damage and dishing out the damage. And I think this was just a nice example of that. So, you know, I just wanted to show it. A lot of you are better than me and you already know all this stuff. But, it's, you know, it's just nice. If you have a game like that, it's sort of, it's got a good lesson to it. I thought I'd get it out. So we make a nice amount of silver there, 71,000. It's not a huge damage game for just over 4,500. Um, but, like I say, it was more the lesson of just making sure you're there as a top tier heavy, defending what's going on. So if you enjoyed that, guys, drop me a like. If you didn't, give me a dislike. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And because you've made it to the end of the video, we're going to have a little sneaky prize giveaway. If you would like to win 30 days of premium, then you can. All I want you to do is in the comments section, write down what your favourite type of fish is. And I will, using a, a random name generator thing, I'll select a winner and I will post it up at the beginning of the next video. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon.